All right, I'm live and I've got a double chin. I never noticed that before. Never mind. Um, hello, Adeal City. Hi, and welcome to today's live stream. Uh, for those of you who are new to the live stream or watching this on catch up and new to the channel, I'm Andrew. I'm a part time eBay reseller. Um, I go around car boots, charity shops, tabletop sales, um, anything that I can uh, go to. Or, retail stores, anything that I can go to where I can pick up stuff um, and sell it on eBay for a profit. Uh, looks like Louise is with us, tech expert as well. Hi, both. Um, so, yeah, today's video is going to be a uh, live stream of me going through my car boot sale hauls from this morning. Um, I have uh, not managed to research anything I picked up yet because I've been asleep. Um, yeah. So weird about a bit, I know, but sexy still. Um, what was I going to say? Um, so, yeah, so this will be a joint effort to find and research stuff. Teamwork via the YouTube. Um, went to two car boots today. The first one I went to at Chirk. It's the first time this year that it's been open on the big field. And it was absolutely chock full of uh, fellow resellers. Uh, fake Rachel was there sorting through the clothes. Um, there were loads of quite a few YouTubers there, so um, it was just like every reseller for a 60 or 70 mile radius had come there. So, as soon as I sort of clocked onto this, I was like, um, I was like, yeah, I don't think, uh, I don't think this is the car boot for me today. Um, so I went off to uh, Chester instead and I managed to pick up a few more things there. Otherwise, I think it would have been a pretty uh, pretty short stream to show you. Um, let's just see what's on the chat. Deal City picked up La Cruz set of pots for forty pound. Should get three hundred. Excellent. Yeah, they're, they're always good. They don't. They, they, you never see them around me, to be honest. Uh, the people of Wrexham don't tend to have money to spend on these um, these fancy items. Hey, Taft Doctor, Ian, good to have you with us. Uh, looks like the notifications are um, going out. Um, so yeah, um, I think what I'll do is I'll show you in turn what I've picked up. Um, yeah, what did I get from Chirk? Yeah, so I uh, just need to uh, set this reminder first. There we go. Um, right, so who wants to see a car boot haul? I'm presuming you all do, and that's why you're here. If, they, if you're not here to watch a car beat hall, you're watching the wrong channel. Um, so yeah, I got a jerk. Wasn't the first one there for once. Um, the stupid, uh, yeah, jerk uh, car boot. Yeah, there's um, it's full of resellers. It was Taff Doctor, absolutely full of them going around, snaffling stuff. Fake Rachel was uh, going through literally loads of fake clothing. So yeah. Um, first thing I picked up though from Chirk was this Trivial Pursuit Lord of the Rings. I have to enjoy being in Wales, Taff Doctor. Everything's uh, strange names, but there was Trivial Pursuit Lord of the Rings uh, trilogy, trilogy Edition, uh, Collector's Edition. Sorry, movie trilogy Collector's Edition. Um, paid two pounds for that, and now via the power of how quickly I can type, we're going to see how much that item is is worth who wants to tell you what though let's play a guessing game i let's 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 have some guesses in the chat as to the value of that whilst i'm researching it and the closest one will win them will win a mentalist point rings trilogy movie all the rooms movie trilogy trivial pursuit Got 17, we've got 12. Hello, Kerry Ann, good to be with us. 15, let's have a look. Ooh. Ooh. And I said that this was no bolos. So there's only been three. Only been uh only been three sold uh in the last um 90 days, all second hand. Um 
the highest one, thirty-five pounds plus two ninety-five shipping. The lowest one, twenty-five pounds plus five pound five shipping. So that is worth hopefully at least thirty pounds. So yeah, well uh, there you go. Uh, already um, we have hit a bolo. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to change the name of this thing afterwards. Um, I just can't help shipping over them. So yeah, Trivial Pursuit, Lord of the Rings, Movie Trilogy Collector's Edition. Bit of a uh, bit of a bit of a find there. So I picked up that. And then there was a lady who was doing um uh, trader was doing three of these things for a fiver. Now I've seen um I've, I've always ignored these sort of things before um when I've seen them. But I picked up one yesterday um as part of a bundle that was worth twenty pounds. So now I am looking out for these limited edition uh, collectors ones. Um, in the shower, how can you be showering before coming here? You don't need to shower just to see me, you know. It's on YouTube. It's not a two-way thing. Um, anyway, yeah. So, so I picked up three of these cards for five. I picked them all up because they're all limited edition ones. Uh, we have got here a Commonwealth Games Scotland 1986 vintage um, piece. That is, yeah, it doesn't look like it's ever been out of the box. A little bit of a rip to the box there. Um, let's have a guess on the value on this one, guys, when I look it up. Interactive, interactive eBay pricing. I'm already in profit for today, I think, actually, just on that Lord of the Rings thing. I didn't spend a lot, but. Lido. Commonwealth Games Bus. We've got 15, 19. Hey, Becca, yeah, you've missed. Um, you've missed a bolo, Becca. Um, I, I, everything I picked up was. Oh, this is. Uh, this is my, my this is my Hawaiian top. I like to wear Hawaiian shirts. You missed the bolo, Becca. Um, I didn't. I haven't researched anything. I picked up. Um, I just picked up stuff blind based on personal experience and guts because there were so many resellers flocking around today. It was unreal. She said to be quick. Um, so yeah, Becca, you just missed out. This Trivial Pursuit Lord of the Rings movie trilogy edition cost two pound. Uh, it's worth. Um, well, somebody's got about thirty five for it. So, and the average price is just over thirty pounds. So happy with that I and mean, now we're playing guess the price on the items while i do live research because i haven't researched anything um right only one sold for this but it's not the same bus uh goodness me i just see there's anything on listings yeah there's there's none of these um sold or listed at the minute um uh, at all um i wonder if i take out Bus. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Um, just click on sold listings. Unboxed, unboxed. Yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't seem to be anything on this, so maybe five, six pounds. Yeah, I'm not going to buy any Star Wars Monopoly carry on, I'm afraid. Um, so yeah, no idea on the value on this one. Um, it seems to be quite a rare one, uh, as there's no others for sale, uh, all being sold. So I'll probably list it for a tenner and see where I go. Uh, then we've got this. You can tell I'm desperate by picking these up, but yeah, because these aren't my normal pickups. This Lido members exclusive, um, Capri. Um, truck. Um, yeah, part of the Lido Collectors Club. Um, let's have a guess at some values on that one, guys. I'll just hold it up to the camera again so we can see it. Louise, you're gonna have to guess at these as well. You can't sit there not guessing. Can't, but uh. Just copy my listing on it, Tat Doctor. I, I've stopped selling it now. Just copy my listing. That did quite well. 
Um, I actually put it on 30 days by mistake. Um, so it's, uh, I had to relist it and it still did well on the relist. Listing stuff is not as important as watching me hold things up to cameras. I have to think about how I said that actually, yeah. Yeah, holding uh, products, stock up to cameras, nothing else. Yeah, that could be controversial. Um, do, do, do. Uh, what have I got? So this is Lido, Capri's. I just bought Capri's. Capri's Collectors Club. Yeah, you, you're, you're not, you, yeah. If you were going to go live, you'd have done it on Friday when I wanted you to. You're not going to go live today. Um, no results for that. Let's have a look at the unsolds. Hmm. Hmm. Well, yet again, I have managed to pick up something that's. Um, that uh, has no sales history or listings. I'll try 16, 15, 14, for that. So the, the, this again is, is so rare that there aren't any uh, listed. So again, I'll just go for a tenner on it and see if I can hit the collector's market. Uh, this is a 2004 Lido, oh, come on focus. Lido members model collectors club fam. Um, let's guess that nobody else has sold these either. Collectors club or listed them. Nope. It's a Ford model T van apparently. But there are a few listed, so that's promising. Let's have a look on souls. Nope. Somebody's been non sold. Um, yeah, so I might bundle this, I might just bundle the three together, put them on, put them up for 15 pounds. Um, but then it cost me five, so five into 15 would be all right. Word association, no, wrong game. So, yeah, I know Nick has sold a big bundle of those type of um vehicles for 40 pounds the other day. I've got a load more I can chuck in, so I might just do a big bundle of it and put it on eBay. Should still make a healthy profit. So yeah, that was everything from Jerk. Um, the reset. My mic is crackling a lot. Don't think there's much I can do about that. I'm afraid. You just have to bear with it. Uh, I don't have a microphone. It's built into the computer. It's probably because I keep getting notifications. Um, if people stopped sending me messages, it would be a lot easier. Um, what was I going to say? But I was going to say, yeah, so that, that was it from Chirk. But worth going just for that trivial pursuit. You know, I spent, what, £7 there. And I might get about 40 to 45 back before fees, etc. Sell Corgi and Matchbox stuff for slow sellers, yeah. Yeah, I'll just bundle them up and put them on auction. So then I went to um, Chirk, not Chirk, Chester, to the Countess car boot sale there. I was going to go to free, but but I was exhausted and it wasn't feeling like it was going to be a good day. Um, I can't remember what order I bought stuff in. I've got a yellow Furby. Um, this cost me a pound. This will be for... Uh, does it come loose? Looks like I might need to do a bit of work with the battery container, but yeah. This cost uh, a pound. Um... Oh, yeah, it's just screwing in by the looks of it. It's going to unscrew. I'll get that fixed anyway. Yeah, so I'll pick up the yellow Furby. Um, I normally do well selling Furbies at Christmas, so that'll be a Q4 item. Um, so there's a year on it. Yeah, no, it's not one of the... Uh, Tiger models. I don't think it's a Tiger one anyway. I think it's a Hasbro one. Um, yeah, 2012 Hasbro. Um, 
furby market goes mad around Christmas time. Uh, but I'll just have a look at current values. Now oh, that's got blue ears. There's so many variants of these things. Um, it's unreal. Any guesses as to the value of the yellow 2012 Hasbro Furby uh, on current prices? Because I'll sell it at Christmas and get more. It's like literally. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's the same model. Yeah, okay, yeah, we've got it. Eight, ten. Yeah, none of you are optimists. I'm a salesman. I can always get more than £10 for a Furby. Um, £10 plus two. It's about, it's about £12 at current value um, that it's selling for. But I'll hold on to it for, to, until Christmas probably and get 15 for it then. So, yeah, pick that up. Um, then I, I paid off for this really too much money for it hey ads just going through the uh, car boot sale hall you i didn't think i had any bolos i was wrong but uh, yeah picked up this um i've sworn off doing crockery but this is a limited edition uh looney tunes plate um i paid too much money for it it's number 1561 of 5000 Obviously, you can't see that because the camera shows it backwards. Um, any bonds today, that cost £3. Um, oh, probably only worth a tenner, but we'll have a look. Looney Tunes. But yeah, don't forget to have a guess as the current value in the chat while I am looking it up. Uh, don't just go off me saying it's only £10 because I have no idea. It's today, plate. Ah, why are there no solids? No, fair enough. Now we got 15, 15, 17, 12. Yeah, the only one I... Oh, I've spelt loony wrong, that's why. Hang on. Should be able to spell loony, given I'm a lunatic. Um... So there's only two for sale currently, and they're both in America, and no solds. Uh, the Americans are asking uh, fifteen pound thirty-one. I reckon fifteen for this probably is what I'm going to ask for. I think that's about its value. Um, yeah, probably about fifteen. I might list it a bit higher. Might offer it around some Looney Tunes collectors groups first, but yeah. Uh, and then I found buried, yeah, probably do, probably do, 1999, free post, tap and see where we end up. Then I found buried under um, a pile of stuff, this vintage Waddington's Rat Race game. Uh, that cost a pound. Uh, I still need to check if it's complete. What do we reckon on Rat Race? Probably some people here who sold it. In fact, I've sold it before. I know a different edition. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, that, that is in better condition. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's what the guesses were. We have got 25, 22, 50, 22. Um, yeah, I'd say 22 is. Um, achievable i'm just looking here uh, do, 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 do. so we sold one for 40. people some people are idiots i don't, I don't know if they just don't look at the souls or what but you've got one that's sold for four quid plus postage and then you've got one that's sold for um you know for for 20 pound so and it's one that's sold for 25 I'll probably just go 20 quid. 
1999, including shipping, I think. I think we'll give Sean the mentalist point for that one. Um, yeah, okay. Yes, yeah, so I grabbed that. Then I picked up for 50. Focus. It's like 10 pounds. It could be like, yeah, I don't know if that's an outlier. I mean, I've got 15 before for the newer one. Yeah, the newer one's definitely going for about 15. Um, yeah, here we go. Somebody's got 16 plus 395. 1999 was 375 um, for the 1984 edition. So, yeah. Um, if you live in Australia, you've got to pay a massive £26.17 for it. Then we've got this PS2 game. Complete. Little bit of damage to the case there. Um, Tetris Worlds. It was 50p, so I thought, why not? Let's have a guess when I look it up, people. Probably worth nothing, but, you know. Wasn't going to leave it behind for 50p. Ah, oh, fantastic. Eight, three ninety nine, six ninety nine, five, seven ninety nine. Well, is that you having two guesses, Sean? Can you only have one guess. Well, I'll see what the highest it's achieved is. It's probably not the um Yeah, well, obviously that's kind of yeah, the the highest it's got is three ninety five, so bit of a fail there. I'll make me fifty P back. I might make fifty P profit on it a pound profit on it but it's not acid but yeah i'll list it for 3.99 free shipping yeah ads you've got a mentalist point well done you was tied with sure now who's gonna win um i know how much this is worth i picked up this tommy tippy closer to nature um yeah get you my hermes done today because it's gonna go up massively tomorrow but there's Tommy Tippy, Closer to Nature, a microwave sterilizer. Uh, I've sold one of these before. A lot of one I picked up cost me a penny last time. Uh, it's in box. Um, I don't think the instructions are with it, though. No, instructions aren't with it. But it's in box. It's in excellent condition. Looks like it's hardly ever been used. Oh, the instructions are on the back. That's why they're not in there. Um, what do you reckon? Let's have some guesses on this. Bear in mind that I've sold one of these before, so I know how much I can get for it. Only twelve ninety nine, nineteen ninety nine at fifteen pounds. Sean takes the lead. Um, yeah, Sean takes the lead. Um, twelve ninety nine, spot on. That's exactly what I'll list it for. I'll probably get. Um, I'll, I'll accept offers of ten pounds or over. But yeah, twelve ninety nine is what I got for the last one. That cost me a penny. That one cost me two pounds. Yeah. It's a, it's not a, uh, it's a, it's only one that goes in the microwave. If it was the electric one that you plug in, it would be worth more. But uh, yeah, twelve ninety nine for that. Um, but they, they, they sell like that. They really do. They, they, they fly off. So, um, you know, I was happy to pick that up for a quick return. Um, got that off the same guy I got the uh, PS2 game from. I got another thing off him, but we'll save that for last. Uh, next, I picked up this. Airfix Club, uh, limited edition, uh, under the Red Sea Stars. It is opened, but the contents are still sealed. Um, that's something I just get the box out. Yeah. Eight to ten, you reckon? I don't know, it's the bigger box one. 
we'll have a look cost me um three pounds so i'm hoping it's worth something um i paid three pounds purely because it said it was a limited edition so there might be a collector's market for it Red star. Hmm. That's helpful. Seventeen ninety nine, eight forty nine. Hey, Lynn, let's have you with us. Um. Well, I can tell you that there is one. That has sold um it was listed for 14.99 plus 2.95 shipping however it went on an offer so i don't know how much it went for um there's currently only one other one listed and they're asking for 19.99 plus 3.99 shipping so i'm going to list mine at 20 pounds and see what happens so i don't think any of you got that no yeah maybe 12 pound on the offer yet yeah, i would say so they had shipping on as well though so they would have got 15 for it so um yeah that's fine three and 15 is all right considering how rubbish a day it was um yeah then i picked up purely because i've sold them before i think i paid what they pay three pounds for the entire bundle got one of these i've sold this for 11 pounds before this was a pound how much stock you stuck with you start it all sells to be honest sean it all sells um to be fair um some some stuff takes longer than the other than others but it all sells so it's more how much stock am i stuck with than i haven't listed which is a thousand of pieces um this came with it as well pound i've not sold one of these before um so we'll have a look trivial pursuit entertainment edition um needs a little bit of a clean up um uh, get the wet wipes on it uh, i've already let the cat out of the bag on the other one as to what that's worth so i can't ask that question 7.99 it could be a good guess we'll have a look Two. Uh, entertainment edition Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Salt. Interesting. In uh, why don't people look at salt listings before the list right? Okay. Um, right, I can tell you that this has sold for £12 plus £3.80 postage, so £15.80. Um, this is sold for, so that's not bad for a pound. And then, um, so I got those and then she chucked in the actual Trivial Pursuit game as well. Um, which weighs a lot and probably isn't worth much um, because they're everywhere. But we'll have a look. I might just bundle all three of them together, to be honest, and then um, bang them on for you know, 30, 25 to 30 pounds. But we'll have a look. Genus edition. What do we reckon on a Genesis edition of Trivial Pursuit then, guys, in a box-worn condition? The contents are mint, they're all there, I've checked them, checked them with the car boot. Yeah, they are hard to shift, that's why I'm uh, packaging them up. Interesting. 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 Hmm. 8.99, nope. Any more guesses? 9.99, including postage? Nope. Two more guesses. 10.99, nope. One more guess. 
There could be somebody busy typing now. Oh, I can't be bothered. Um, yeah, uh, we've had we've got one here. Uh, Eight pounds plus four ninety five postage. Uh, one for twelve ninety nine. One for fourteen ninety nine that wasn't complete. Um, so that's actually got more money, even though it's not complete. A one for nine ninety five plus five ninety five postage. Uh, this is all this month. Um, so yeah, price is all over. You can't have two guesses, Deal City. So yeah, for a pound, maybe I'll probably go for about twelve ninety nine on it, given the condition of the box, and see where we end up. Let's see what else we got. Yeah, I've only got two more things now. Yeah, we might just split it, but we'll see. I might just put it with the other two um, and sell the whole offer for £30 pounds, because three pounds into 30 do me. Next, pick this up for a pound, brand new and sealed. Um, I, I don't know, I can't even say that. It's a, it's a Rebel model kit thing. Um, that costs a pound. It is the Rebel. Yeah, I've got the number there. What do you reckon on this, guys, when I'm looking it up? Ooh. That is surprising. Yeah, no, um, Texper is the closest, um, to be fair. Um, but no mentalist points because you've not got that. The, uh, there's one of these that's sold on Thursday for 11.99 plus three pound 20 postage so uh yeah i'll probably just list this um there's some on there at the moment that are on for about 20 pounds yeah no it's not a uh, fixed i'll travel um but uh yeah so uh from a pound into hopefully about 15 happy enough with that um and then we have the final pickup and the same dude who sold me the Tommy Tipper and the uh, PS2 game. I have got a pair of genuine Adidas Predators. Um, I'll just look at what model they are. But yeah, good condition. Um, original shoelaces and everything as well. Um, yeah, they're not. They look like they've been worn a few times, but not too many. Uh, don't really need much of a clean either. Um, they cost me three pounds. The old city's already straight in there with a bit of 50. Let's see. I'll try and get the numbers to look them up with. We've got 50, 60, 20. Yeah, they're genuine. They've got all the holograms and everything on. 40. Uh, yeah, so lock up. Uh, from 2011 the 2011 model um to answer your question there radcal uh 2011 
I've got them there. The Adidas Adi Power Predator 2011. So let's have a look. Ooh. Okay. Uh, not the same size, um, but Deal City, you get a mentalist point, sold in a seven and a half for fifty pounds. So uh, yeah, not bad for three pounds. Another bolo. Um, so that's two bolos where I said I had none. Um, so yeah, that's all right. Happy with that. Um, those I thought I had a feeling those predators would have some uh, decent money on them. I can't believe they'd. I mean, it was on my second visit, second walk round that I picked those up as well. So, um, yeah, so between those predators, we'll look, I've covered the cost of the haul and everything else. So, yeah, happy with that. Um, so, what we're looking at, we've spent about oh, three, six, seven, eight, nine, seventeen, nineteen, nineteen fifty. I've only spent 20 quid. Um, three, six, seven, eight, nine, seventeen, eleven. Yeah, so from 20 pounds, um, spent should hopefully be well over 100 pound profit. So I'm happy with that. That's not bad considering I was spent a grand total of an hour and a half out. Yeah, solid. Yeah, what did you get when you went out yesterday? Well, you have to wait until episode four of Come Thrift with Me to come out and then you will see in there but yeah there was a couple of bolos on uh, yesterday's pickups um in fact possibly three bolos yesterday um so yeah on oh, the ps2 gate it's nothing special it's um or it's this tetris it's 50p i thought given you know how popular tetris is i thought there might be some value in it but i'll be lucky to get 3.99 on that um so you know maybe see 50p a pound profit on it um there wasn't um yeah I was, I was looking out for games and such like but jerk had been hammered and um after i got those predators i just thought just go home and sleep and um, you've done your job so yeah happy enough with that um yeah so Oh, then I thought 10, 10 past three. Um, shall we? What shall we do? We've got 12 people watching. Shall we do best chat up lines ever? Let's see if we can come up with some fantastic chat up lines, all of which I can then practice when I'm in Manchester next week. Uh, do, do, do. Let's see if I can go with a few here. Okay, um, I'll just try and pick some appropriate ones. I must be a snowflake because I've fallen for you. If you were a steak, you'd be well done. Don't get that one. Oh, I do get that one. Oh, so that's not appropriate. My love for you is like diarrhea. I just can't hold it in. Can you imagine trying that one? No, I'm not off to the village. Uh, oh, no, well, actually, it might be. You might go out around there. Remember, my lame ladies, you'll be shouting it soon. Dear me. Are you from Montreal? Um, are you lost, ma'am? Because heaven is a long way from here. Are you an auction? Because I'll pay more for you for the night. Nice one. If nothing lasts forever, will you be my nothing? I like that one. I'm new in town. Could you give me directions to your apartment? Nice.
This is a good one. Life without you is like a broken pencil, pointless. Even if there wasn't gravity on Earth, I'd still fall for you. If you were a chicken, you'd be impeccable. Yeah, okay, I'll spin that one. Like, that's not a chat line, that's an icebreaker. If I flip a coin, what are my chances of getting out oh there? Right, no, I'm not saying that one out on YouTube either, Sean. Oh, that's my chat up line, you can't have that on there. Are you a banana? Because I find you appealing. Have you been to the doctors recently? Because I think you're lacking some vitamin me. Thirty five pound you won't sleep with me. I might try that one. If you if I were a cat, I'd spend all nine lives with you. Oh, there's my camera line. Is your old dad a terrorist because you are the bomb? I get it packing boxes, so play my cards right and I'll send you my heart. eBay related chat up lines there. Did you hear of the new disease called beautiful? I think you're infected. All right. There we go. We've had some. Let's have a vote. Best chat up and ever. Go now. I still think my Google one's the best one. My favourite one is your name, Google, because you're all I've been searching for. That is definitely number one for me. Yep, the stream beat is live. Go on then, Deal City. We're waiting with anticipation. Okay, right now. I don't. I don't think I can say that one out on the YouTube either. Of course, the line on Richie, the best chat up line ever, is "Hello." Uh, but there you go. Oh, it's George Ross's birthday. Happy birthday, George. Right, anyway, we've done the haul. Do you want to come round for a coffee? True? Yeah, I think Kerry's probably died. Either that or she's uh, finding the, the lion so hilarious. Anyway, right, folks, I'm tired. Um, there will there won't be a monday night mental tomorrow as i'm in manchester uh, meeting people uh i'm away all week so it monday night mental will have to be rescheduled for another night um but thank you all for uh, joining uh always a pleasure as always thank you deal city um yeah two bolos happy enough um so yeah Thanks for that, guys. I'll speak to you all soon. I'll be. I miss that one tap doctor. I won't be on next chat. So I've got to take mother out for Mother's Day. No worries. Cheers. Thanks, Becca. Cheers. Thanks, Lynn. Bye. Bye, Louise. Uh, end stream.